Hi folks, in this video we take a look at the surprising origins of the so-called Caucasus race and its links to Alice in Wonderland and the Greek demigod Prometheus. The Caucasus, this political system, while used around the world, is extensively used in the American presidential elections, which I suspect most people would be amazed to learn that the Caucasus race was a product of Imperial Britain, which was forced by Britain upon the British Empire Commonwealth, such as countries like New Zealand, Canada, Australia. Not actually used in the British Parliament, or at least not labelled as such, it would appear that the system came into fruition in American politics after George Washington's retirement in 1796, which to say the least is extremely suspect as it is some years after American independence from Britain. But the caucus political system didn't survive very long being branded with the name King Caucus, due to its undemocratic nature, imperialist connections, Freemasonry playing a large part. When and how it came back into American politics is unclear, but as we all know, the Caucus race certainly plays a major role in choosing a president. Perhaps with closer ties to the throne of England than they dare make public. It is also possible that the devout Freemason and mathematician, the extremely controversial figure of Charles Ludwig Dodson, better known as Lewis Carroll, he portrayed the Caucasus system perhaps for what it is. Chapter 3 The Caucasus Race and the Long Tail in his famous story of Alice in Wonderland, whereabouts Alice dances with the dodo, etc., in a circular fashion, with no winner and no beginner. Also in Chapter 7, The Mad Tea Party, the Mad Hatter points out the date, the 4th of July. Also, Lewis Carroll points out this date when he first told the story of Alice in Wonderland, the 4th of July, 1862 while rowing up the River Isis, which is commonly known as the River Thames. Let's take a look into why the elite globalists are so fond of the term Caucasus race or Caucasus. In Greek mythology, Zeus took away the power of fire from mankind for not making sweet enough offerings on the sacrificial fires. Prometheus, who is said to have created man out of clay and stole the fire from Zeus to give it back to man. Zeus punished Prometheus by chaining him to the Caucasus Mountains and sending a black eagle named Caucasian to eat his liver. His liver would then regenerate only for the eagle to return to eat it again each day. What I find amazing in this fact is that the Greeks around 3000 years ago obviously knew the concept that the liver is the only organ human body which you can remove two thirds and you will still survive because it will grow back again. You also could say pretty strange that a black eagle was named Caucasian Bearing in mind, this was the original origin of the word Caucasian, which in the 20th century terms usually applies to a white person. So all this amounts to one more piece of the puzzle, providing evidence of the existence of the globalist elite bloodlines. Please stay safe and thank you for watching the video.